Mavericks versus the uh, LA Laker games. Those ones, <laughs> those Laker uh, Christmas Day games are always very fun to watch. Uh, what else would be a very fun game? Oh, the Nets in Boston played today at 2 p.m. Uh, PST. So hopefully that was a lot of fun. I'm assuming I might go on through the entire entire ones because obviously it being a double upload day, I'm filming this before this video has come out and these games have been over with. So uh, the first game of the day were the Pelicans and the Miami Heat. I'm gonna guess Miami wins just just because they lost their first game of the season. They probably don't wanna fall to two to nothing. Um, oh, but before we talk about those, we are going to be looking at the uh, standings for our little simulation here. The Boston Celtics, speaking of them, are the first team in the East, followed by the Nets, 76ers, Toronto Raptors, Bucks, and then the Atlanta Hawks. I always check Trey Young's stats during a simulation. He's actually doing pretty bad. Well, pretty bad than what he's usually doing. Sometimes I see Trey Young averaging like 38 points per game and like 12 assists. Like, he goes absolutely crazy. Miami is struggling a lot, which is sad to see. The 2K simulator hates uh, the Miami Heat. But uh, we're doing pretty bad, which is good. I want to get a nice, you know, top 10, top 8, top 5 draft pick this year. Um, I think I think a Pistons rebuild is, is overdue. I definitely want to do that team next, maybe. Um, oh god, look at the, the OKC Thunder, man. They are struggling. Oh wow, the Denver Nuggets are too. The Suns are out of the playoffs as well. Looks like the Jazz are, the Clippers are. Looking pretty rough. They still have Paul George, self Kawhi. Maybe Kawhi will be uh, more interested in joining the Charlotte Hornets next off season since he's not doing so hot over there in, in the Clipper Nation. The Pelicans are doing really well. There's Lonzo. Oh, you see that? It says he wants to test a free agency this off season, so that's really good that he's not going to get resigned at all. That's perfect for us. There are the Steph, uh, no, the Clay Thompsonless Warriors as the second seed, and the LA Lakers are still the number one seed in the Western, 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 Western Conference. Very interesting. Like I said before, this first season is going to be us tanking, so nothing too interesting to watch. Obviously, just the development of Lamella Ball and seeing what he averages is going to be very interesting. But um, the next game for Christmas Day are the Bucks and the Warriors. I'm going to guess the Bucks win. Obviously, the way they lost their last game, I'm sure they're going to come out and schmack, schmack, schmack at the Warriors. Um, then, again, the Brooklyn Nets and Boston Celtics. I'm going to say the Nets win. I'm very intrigued about that game. I say the Nets win. They look really good. Then we have the Mavericks and the Lakers. Uh, if Kristaps Porzingis doesn't play, I think uh, the Lakers have an edge. So I'm going to take the Lakers over the Mavericks if, KC, uh, if KP doesn't play. Uh, I heard LeBron rolled his ankle, ankle his last game, which I didn't really notice. Or maybe I just totally just spaced out when watching the Laker Clipper game, but um, apparently he's still going to be playing, so which is really good to see that. So yeah, Lakers obviously get the edge there. And then the Clippers and Denver Nuggets play at 7.30 PST, so I'm going to say the Nuggets have a loss, Clippers have a win. Man, I did see how the Nuggets lost their game, and it looked pretty painful. And the, this is the, you know, sort of playoff matchup that happened last year. But I'm going to say that the Clippers, again, are on a revenge season this year. They beat the Lakers, and I think they're going to beat Denver because they beat them 3-1 to one in the playoffs. I think that the Clippers are having a revenge season, season, season and are going to be coming for vengeance on these teams. That sort of made them a, a laughing stock meme. You know, with the 3 to 1 and the LA team versus the LA team. I think the Clippers will be the, the Nuggets. We have LeBron here as the MVP uh, of our little simulation. 
Yes, yeah, I'll show you guys right now. They, 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 these are the Clay Thompson-less Warriors making it that far. I'm sorry, they didn't beat the Lakers. The, the, the Mavericks beat the Lakers. That's crazy. Um, that's crazy. Wow. And then the, the, the Celtics beat the Nets four games to two in the playoffs. Dang, that's a very, very, very close maybe thing that could happen in real life. I don't know how far the, the, the Mavericks could get in the playoffs this year. But uh, definitely in years to come, they're going to be a, a powerhouse for sure, as long as they keep getting Lucas more help. And you can see us right there at the seventh pick, uh, seventh pick odds, at least to be the uh, number one pick. I'm just going to simulate this because it usually takes forever. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have kept around and, and kept the luck going, but we are still the seventh seed. Uh, and then also coming up next is a big jump cut because I am a dummy, dummy, dummy head and totally forgot to record the NBA draft. Well, uh, you guys are going to probably want to have seen that because your boy and some baller brought us Jonathan Isaac. Uh, I did what I said I was going to do and trade the pick and Gordon Hayward for a player that those players happen to be. Um, Jonathan Isaac and Terrence Ross. And with the trade of those guys, I traded Terrence Ross to get Precious Achua because we needed an extra pick. So I flipped the pick and Gordon Hayward for Jonathan Isaac, a very good defensive minded wing player who can play the three or the four. Doesn't matter which position. So if we pick up Kawhi, fingers crossed, uh, we can still play uh, Jonathan Isaac at the four because he's 6'11. Um, and then we still have a very good backup pick. Precious, if we still need him to be that big for us, so I think Kawhi is gonna like a little two to three year deal, in my opinion. Uh, but you know, I'm still obviously gonna be offering the boy, the legend, the absolute legend, Lonzo Ball, a nice little contract here. Nothing too crazy again. I'm not gonna break the bank for him. I still want to have Kawhi first, obviously. You know, Kawhi is the superstar, but having Lonzo and Lamelo on the same team. Uh, I think it'd be very fun to see, but definitely need to get Kawhi on the team for sure, for sure. And then I also saw that there was, um, oh God, we're second option still. And that's very annoying. Um, there's DeMar DeRozan. So I think either getting DeMar or uh, Kawhi will be very beneficial for us for sure. I think we'll either one of these pickups give us a playoff seeding team, which that's honestly all I'm looking for. If we, if we get Kawhi, we can make a championship run. If we get DeMar, I think we'll be a very solid uh, contender for sure. Uh, I also see John Collins there, but getting Jonathan Isaac really solidifies me I'm trying to get these other guys. And oh my god, wow, we actually snag him. That's <laughs> that's actually crazy. I, 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 I thought we were his second off, but you know, I called it. I said, you know, maybe Charlotte does not sound as bad <laughs> as the Clipper Nation, so uh, that's pretty cool. So it looks like, um, I mean, obviously, I would have really tried to have gotten Lonzo, but as you guys saw there, uh, the Pelicans were matching our, our contract offer, so, because Lonzo was a restricted free agent, so, that was really sad to see, because obviously, I would have tried to gotten at least both of them, if not, uh, Lonzo would have been a good pickup for us, but, as you can see, our team's looking really good, right here, I just switched Jonathan Isaac to a power forward, maybe helps out a little bit, and then, we have a very deep power forward position now, with a PJ and a Precious Archua, and Isaac, so I think I am going to make a trade with Precious because now we need a starting shooting guard because we didn't get Lonzo uh, and didn't make Lamelo our starting shooting guard. So trying to trade maybe Precious and maybe a pick for a new two guard, and you'll see right about now I make a trade with the Brooklyn Nets, and I wonder who is a player on the Brooklyn Nets who is looking for a starting role, who is looking for a more important role, who is looking for a team that can use his up-and-coming greatness. And that is the boy over in the Brooklyn Nets, their shooting guard, Karis LeVert. No more coming off the bench for Karis LeVert. We now have him as a starting two guard. So we have Lamella Ball, Karis LeVert, Kawhi Leonard, Jonathan Isaac, and Mitchell Robinson as our new, brand new starting five for your Charlotte Orange. I think this looks absolutely beautiful for a rebuild. This is almost a picture perfect rebuild. Obviously, without getting Lonzo, I wanted Lonzo so bad, but uh, darn Pelicans had to match me. And then, as you can see, we still have a very good bench. Uh, our ninth man is pretty, pretty risky. I am going to give Vernon Carey Jr. the minutes for our ninth rotations piece, but we still have Devontae, PJ, and Bridges off the bench, so those three uh, same uh, Hornets guys are still going to be around, which is really good for the sort of realism I'm sort of trying to keep without trading all of my players away. But, um, yeah, I think this is looking really, really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. Simulating to the 
is uh, a very long video. <laughs> but we have the standings for the second year, and we are actually first in the East and first in the NBA, I think. Uh, we still have the Boston Celtics right behind us, still looking very, very, very good. The Raptors, the Bucks, the Nets, and the New York Knicks are now in the playoff hunt. As you can see, Dinwiddie uh, is still starting at the two, and Precious is now the new four, which is pretty interesting to see. So it looks like the trade worked out for both guys, uh, both teams, both situations. And then with the Knicks, they actually got John Collins at the five. No, they have, oh my god, they have Obi Toppin at the five. Wow. They have Obi at the five, and then John Collins at the four. That's that's a pretty, 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 pretty big risk. That's okay. Uh, and then the one seeded Sixers are now out of the playoffs this year, so that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, Duke? Pacers are one of the worst teams in the NBA now, which is really sad. And you have the Clippers with just Paul George. I see Kawhi, you made the right choice by coming to us. We knew it. Uh, oh my god. The, uh, <laughs> the Portland Trailblazers traded CJ McCollum away for Gordon Hayward. The only reason why I'd want to see CJ McCollum be traded is if it's for Jim, uh, James Harden, which has obviously been reported that James Harden is now like the new destination. Uh, James Harden wants to go to Portland now, and then also I think Boston is now on his teams that are selected, so it's very interesting to see that. Um, then we have the Pelicans at the two seed, and the Memphis Grizzlies, Grizzlies, Grizzlies are your one seed, your one seed, your one seed for the Western Conference. That is so crazy that the, the Memphis Grizzlies are just jumped up in talent like that. Uh, man, John Morant is definitely looking really good in real life, too. His, his first game of the season, I think he put up 40 points, did he not? He looked really good for Memphis there, but um, simulating to the end of the season, we are still looking a very, very, very fun, in my opinion. Looking at a very snazzy 50-plus win game. Uh, yeah, 50-plus win. Uh, what's it called? The season. Sorry. Um, MVP to Giannis again. Katie Cunningham at Rookie of the Year. We have uh, Mobley as six-man eight player of the year award and back-to-back -back most improved player goes to John Morant which is pretty hilarious in my opinion and a look at your all all NBA all NBA all NBA teams all NBA teams looking at the stats for our team here oh wow okay so Lamelo is now an 87 overall my god that's crazy then you have Kawhi not taking a lot of shots, it looks like. Not sure why that is. Then you have Karis LeVert, Mitchell Robinson, Jonathan Isaac. We're all looking pretty good, pretty average, um, in my opinion. I wish Kawhi would take over a little bit more. Maybe now that it's the, the, the playoff time for Kawhi, I think he might have a little bit more of a, of a say-so in the offense, obviously being the best player uh, on our team. We're going against the 8 seed of Philadelphia 76ers, which is definitely a very tough 8 seed, but we get a nice little five game series there. The Memphis Grizzlies are looking really good. Oh my god, do you guys see who are the top four teams in the West? All of the young gun teams. Uh, and then for the East, we have us and the Cavs. And then the sort of lone, sort of uh, established teams are the Celtics and the, the Bucks. So we have the Suns, Mavericks. Charlotte Hornets Boston Celtics Conference Finals. That's so crazy. Uh, it looks like it's just the regular old Suns from this year and the defending. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, the defending champs just signed DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> they have Luka, DeMar, and KP. That is a very good trio. I think that's a better trio than what we have. Oh my god, we have to face them in the finals. You know, we've only lost one game so far in the playoffs. Let's give this team a little run for their money. Oh my god, okay, well. <laughs> um, I am definitely going to be making, 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 making a game plan right about now just to try to see if I can sort of fix this whole mess that we're in. And definitely need to see who they're starting. I'm obviously just going to be tightening up the rotation just to try and obviously use our best players the most times we can, so, uh, and obviously with the sort of default settings on 2K, uh, they are not going to have Kawhi on Luka, so that's probably the first thing I'm going to be looking at very soon is just having the Kawhi on Luka matchup and also having very good three-point defense, which obviously with Luka driving and KP being a very good, you know, big, they're going to be looking for their shooters a lot, so trying to sort of handle that, it's going to be my main purpose. So obviously, 
Still celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas, and I hope to see you.